What's that you got cooking? Apple do stew with apple do's. Mm, didn't we have that yesterday? Or the day before? No. Yesterday it was baked apple do with apple do's. And the day before it was fried apple do's. With apple do's. Oh, I remember now. Sorry, I'm doing what I can to switch up our meals. But in my defense, we have a pretty limited set of ingredients. Hey, I wasn't complaining. I'm glad that you're doing the cooking. Otherwise I'd be eating, I guess, <laughs> apple juice. <laughs> oh, did you have a chance to look at the engine? Yeah, it does seem like it took some damage upon landing, but I should be able to fix that real quick. I also have some good news. What's that? I love you. Oh, with the lights off. Works for me. Uh, no. I didn't do that. Ugh, we must have run out of flow. Weren't you supposed to charge up the nest today? Excuse me if I was working on the engine. I can't do everything. No worries. I'll go get some more outside. If I'm lucky, I'll stumble upon something to spice up the apple juice. <gasps> I'll come with you. Red. Have you ever seen such a thing? No, never. Must be an endemic species. And I know it wasn't here yesterday. I mean, 24 hours ago. You know what I'm saying. I wonder if it's edible. Only one way to find out. Yes, you're right. I'll pick up some berries and run some tests. First, We'll need to observe any cutaneous reactions. Then we'll cook them to eliminate bacteria. Mmm. It's peppery. You did not. Go ahead. Try it. I'm sure you'll love it. Mm. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. That is peppery. Lightweight. Off we go. Let's pick these. I'm not sure these will go great with the apple dews. But where there's a meal, there's a way. You know what doesn't go great with apple dews? Apple dews. Perfect. Although it seems like one thread won't be enough. No worries, we'll find others. again this is so slow we're not going anywhere apple juice again well that was a bust we were too slow no biggie plenty of threads out there
How many more do you think we need? I don't know. Three? Good thing there are plenty of flow threads around here. without having to stop all the time. Do I do that? We all do it. One or two more threads, and we'll be all set. Charged up. Me too. We can go when you're ready. This is a pretty one. This should last us a few days. Now it's our turn to fill up. Huh? I'm hungry. Roasted apple dews with apple dews. I can't tell if you're actually excited about this or if you just enjoy seeing me suffer. <clears throat> How long do you think this is gonna last? The flow? Well, if we keep our consumption in check, I think a few days. No, I meant us, us here. How long until they come get us? Ah, uh, do we have to talk about this? We are going to need to at some point. We need to be prepared. We need a plan. I'm planning on finishing my plate without hearing about the apiary. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. And FYI, you are the one that ruined the mood, not me. Wow, these floating islands are really something. Yeah, never imagined I would ever see this. Let's talk about it. Fine. Uh, I was just gonna ask if you could switch off the light. 
Oh. You've been mulling it over this whole time? Of course I've been mulling it over this whole time. Thank you for adding one more thing to my mind. Hold on, are you telling me you hadn't thought about it before? You know what? No, I hadn't thought about it. I'm trying not to think about the apiary. Enjoy what we have here, even if it isn't much. Um... Do you really think that they can come get us here? If we could take the flow bridge here, then so can they. But there's no way they can know where we are, is there? I cut off the autonav, the astrolock. Even the landing was all manual. I'm just saying, let's prepare for the worst. At worst, I kill myself. You? How can you even say that? What? Do you think I'll let them take me back there? You can do what you want, but I'm not going. We could also, like, hide? Oh, yeah. Hiding is good too. It's even better because then I don't die. Aren't you the smart one? <laughs> Come on, enough grumpy face. I promise I won't kill myself unless I ask you first. Just in case you have a better idea. That's not funny, you. 50% of this planet's inhabitants think it's funny. I guess we'll never know who's right. Snuggle? I'm not sure you deserve it. You aren't dressed yet? I put on my pajamas. I mean, to get out. Well, see, I was just wondering, do we have to get out? Can't we just hang in the nest for once? Lounge around, read a book, watch a movie? We don't have movies. Right, sure, but you know what I mean. Come on, the weather's great. But the weather is always great. For now, who knows, tomorrow could be the beginning of the long winter months. It could last for years. One more reason to stock up on apple juice. Mm. You know, always being right is not necessarily a good quality. On the contrary, many people find it very unappealing. You? Not sure. Do you remember where the apple dews were? Could we try and pick something else for a change? Yes! Just like that. Oh. Sorry, birds. We didn't see you. Is it me, or is the ground shaking? It's shaking. It's shaking a lot. Is it over? Seems like it. A anything broken? No. No, I don't think so. <sighs> well, except... <sighs> it's not all lost. Well, it is. A bit. Look, we can always search the islet, try and find a way to get to the other side. Such as? I don't know. A, a rope. A jetpack. Spring-loaded shoes. Anything. 
I don't want to be stuck here. It sucks. <sighs> Me neither. That's why we'll have to find something. Okay. Make sure they don't get squished. I, uh... I think I found something. Huh? <gasps> Call me crazy, but this looks like a Bluton? Yep, it looks like a flow bridge. Kind of like the one we took to get here. But... smaller? Is that possible? Not that I know of. Interplanetary flow bridges are a well-documented subject, though when it comes down to it, no one really knows how they work. But I've never heard of bridges this size. Well, regardless, this one is here. Yes. Okay. If this really is a flow bridge, I'm not sure what we're waiting for. What? Flow bridges are linking one place to another, right? So this one definitely leads someplace. Wait, y you want to just get on there without knowing where it goes? It goes elsewhere. I think that's as good a start as any. Huh. Um... Do we have everyone? Okay? Here. <laughs> then we're good. Looks like we're on another islet. Yeah. The bridge seems to be a link between the islets. If there are any others like this, we may be able to get back to the nest. Big ugly lizard? No, the mushrooms on its back. Looks like a type of hygrocybrubicins. Ah, is that good news? Like, can we eat it? Oof, not at all. Unless you're looking for a quick way to unload your kidneys. But don't you find that symbiosis amazing? The movements of the lizard are helping spread the spores. As far as what the lizard is gaining, I'll have to study that closer. Maybe it has bad hygiene. Maybe what you call symbiosis is just a fungal infection. That's a possibility. We'd have to get a sample to... Stop! Touch one of those mushrooms and you won't touch me again. Ever. I got a big one. Flow bridge wasn't it? good. <laughs> wow, that's actually what is that? We should take a closer look. idea what's underneath our feet, Mr. Geologist? I'm a biologist. Isn't that the same thing? Biology, the living, geology, the rocks. And what makes you think this is not living, pray tell? Uh, it looks like a dust deposition. Some kind of rust. And it looks like this kind of rust is particularly sensitive to flow. What? Look beneath your feet. Oh, there's vegetation underneath. It was probably smothered. Good thing we came this way. That 
way. Look, it looks like the rust has formed into a bigger chunk. Even the apple dew shrubs are completely covered. I hope this one will yield some nice and juicy fruit to thank us. where we came from. All right, I know. Another flow bridge. That's great. It means there must be others. If we're lucky, they'll bring us back to the nest. We should find the nest if we keep going north. Explain to me how you know which way north is on this planet. Uh... We should find the nest if we keep going straight ahead. <laughs> Thank you. We're too heavy. Nah, this aerial threat is just too fragile. Come on. Don't be scared. A big bug like you. be useful. We almost missed this one. Boba nuts? Aren't we the lucky ones? Uh, what are they? You've never heard of boba nuts? They're one of the most nutritious nuts. 25% carbohydrates, 50% protein, 75% lipids. Great. But how does it taste? Didn't you hear what I said? 75% fat. <laughs> of course it tastes great. I thought this planet was supposed to be a desert. Deserted. Not a desert. According to the archives, a colonization plan had been considered by the Apiary, with Exanova as the main provider. But the planet was eventually classified as inhospitable. Let me guess. Is it because of that rusty stuff? I don't know. The file doesn't say anything about that. Hmm. I hope we don't have any more unpleasant surprises. We're here! 
We found the nest. But in what state? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is no way this thing is flying again. Don't say that. You could make a rock fly with the right tools. Well, maybe. But not this one. Both wings are wasted. The propellers were ripped off. And I'm not even done checking the inside. We weren't really planning on leaving, were we? We don't really have another place to go anyway. I'm tired. Why are we always so unlucky? Uh... <laughs> Why are you laughing? Hold on. We decide to escape the Apiary, which apparently no one has managed to do before us. We punch in some coordinates really at random, only because some obscure document from Exanova vaguely attested to the existence of a habitable planet. By some kind of miracle, we cross the boundaries of the Apiary without getting caught. We travel across space in a Class D ship that is totally not designed for that. And in spite of the fact that this is not all terrain, we land without breaking anything. We find food and flow on site, even though we hadn't really planned for it. Finally, we get hit with an earthquake, all right, but we get out of it unscathed. The only real consequence is that the nest is a little bit busted. <laughs> and you think that we're unlucky? You, we are the luckiest people in the universe. That's. That's one way to see it. This planet is our chance to start a new life. With our own rules. Away from the apiary, from the matchmaker and all that bloot. And I'd rather endure a thousand earthquakes than risk being away from you. <sighs> what did you say this planet was called again? Source. Source. The beginning of something. Seems like it. Get to the nest. We'll explore later. Now the nest is all akimbo. This feels weird. Yeah. We'll need to find a way to correct that. But it can wait until tomorrow. I think we've had our share for the day. We deserve some time to relax. If you know what I mean. You can do whatever you want. But I am going to bed. Okay? Uh, you? Wake up! It's okay. I'm here. That was just a nightmare. Everything's fine. That... that wasn't a nightmare. Sure it was. <laughs> Rest easy. No! 
I was awake. I, I could hear you. I just couldn't move or yell. I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. Yeah, seemed like it was. Do you want my opinion? I'm not a dream expert or anything, but... It wasn't a dream. I wasn't sleeping. My eyes were wide open. No, your eyes were closed. I'm telling you, they were open. I saw everything. You, the, the room, everything. Okay. Okay. What I meant was that it may have been because of the nest. What? You said you couldn't move. You were nailed to the bed. A bit like the nest which is stuck to the ground, right? You've been flying in this thing for years. I bet you're upset to see it in this condition. Huh. No kidding. Which means that if we fix up the nest, this'll all go away? Could be. <laughs> Worst case scenario, the nest will be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope we'll eventually find the missing parts then. So I can get fixed up too. All right. Now we can see a lot clearer. Yeah, we're not there yet, but that should do the trick for now. Now we just need to figure out how to level the nest. The tractor globe is probably done charging. Let's bring it outside. Do you think it'll be enough to lift it? I hope so, because I have no idea what else we can do. What are you looking at? The distance between us and the apiary. I wouldn't expect it to change. Exactly. It's comforting. <laughs> <laughs> 